So Saddam Ali labours to a points win against Mauricio Herrera. Um, it's fairly a boring fight. I switched it off after about six rounds. It was a terrible fight to watch. There wasn't much going on. Uh, Mauricio Herrera was, you know, losing the fight. Uh, Saddam Ali was just nicking the rounds. Um, and, you know, he's come back after his defeat to Jaime Manguia. Uh, we know, you know, Saddam Ali has also taken a loss to Jesse Vargas. Um, he's come back down to welterweight after, you know, becoming a champion at super welterweight, but then obviously lost it to Jaime Manguia. There's always been a, you know, a bit of vulnerability there for uh, Saddam Ali. Um, but he got a win, an easy win against a guy that's probably at the end of his career in Mauricio Herrera. I think Mauricio Herrera seen better days. I thought Mauricio Herrera beat Danny Garcia. Unfortunately, didn't get the decision. Uh, many people thought that Herrera nicked that fight. Uh, but at that time, I, I, th I thought Danny Garcia was obviously the politically connected fight. It was a close fight, don't get me wrong. It could have gone either way. I thought he nicked it, though. Um, but, you know, that was then and now. He's probably become a bit of a journeyman. No longer, you know, a, a fight guy that's going to beat the top-level guys. But I don't know whether Saddam Ali can compete with the top-level guys. I, I think he gets beat by quite a few welterweights, if I'm totally honest. I don't know whether he can compete with any of the top guys in, in the division. Um, I think all the champions will smoke him and I think even the guys the tier below that, you know, the B tier as you so so to speak, I think beat him. I think guys like Khan, um, if Brooke, if he gets back down to that way, um, I think, you know, Khan, Brooke, Vargas, who's already beaten him. Um, just guys of, of that of that level, even Danny Garcia. All of those type of guys, in my opinion, beat Saddam Ali quite comfortably, if I'm totally honest. I don't think he causes them any trouble. I think, you know, on that performance, he looked really poor and he didn't really look that good at all. Uh, if he's, you know, just labouring to a win against Mauricio Herrera, when you, come, when you step up a little bit, guys that actually have the quality, have the ability and looking to win, um, it's a whole different ball game. And I, and I don't know whether Saddam Ali... Uh, I would probably classify Saddam Ali in the welterweight division, how stacked it is, probably a C to D level fighter. I, I don't see him, you know, winning many big fights in the welterweight division. And I, and I think it's hard for him because whether he f goes up to super welterweight, he's not going to do anything there. Comes back down to welterweight, he's not going to do anything there. You know, he probably loses all of the meaningful fights that he goes into in either division. So you can understand, you know, now it's not easy if you're a welterweight or a super welterweight to become world champion because there's some killers in those divisions. Unless you see guys moving up, you're not really going to see, you know, the welterweight division is stacked right now. You know, it's, in certain weight divisions, it's not hard to become world champion, but you'd probably say in the welterweight division and super welterweight, you have to be an exceptional, exceptional fighter in order to in order to win world titles. And right now, you can't really see Saddam Ali coming anywhere near to a world, even a world title shot, let alone um, winning a world title unless you know the the champions can't find opponents and you know they they offer him a fight maybe that could happen but otherwise you don't even see him getting into a mandatory spot because even if there's guys that have to fight out for mandatory spots I, I think he probably gets beat to high, those higher level guys you know um, but leave your thoughts guys what did you make of Saddam Ali what do you make of him where do you think he's gonna go uh, do you think he's got a future in the welterweight division or the super welterweight division? Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.